Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Rodriguez with your Read Aloud for the Pet Study. This week, we're going to be talking about, and we mentioned it yesterday, about where do pets live and what do they eat. So yesterday, we talked about bunnies. And today, we're going to talk about another one that's called fish. What's it like to be a fish? What's it like to be a fish? Do you know? That's a good question, right? What's it like to be a fish? Let's find out. Fish live in the water, in lakes, ponds, aquariums, and even plastic bags. Your pet goldfish can live in a bowl. You can watch the goldfish slip over and under the castle, hide among the water plants, and glide quietly around in their underwater world. A fish's body is just right for living underwater. Just as your body is right for living on land. You can swim but a fish can swim better. A fish's sleek body is the perfect shape for swimming. Fins stick out from the fish's body. They help the fish to swim. A goldfish, a goldfish's tail fin pushes it through the water. Six other fins steady, steer, or stop it. Most fish have skin that is covered with scales. Scales help fish to swim too. The scales are hard and clear. They overlap like shingles on a roof. The smooth, slick scales let fish slide easily through the water. A clear slime covers the scales. It helps fish glide through the water too. Scales and slime also help to keep a fish healthy. The stiff scales protect a fish's delicate skin from cuts and scrapes. Many germs in the water get stuck in a fish's slime, slime coating and are washed away before they can make the fish sick. Both scales and slime keep water from seeping into the fish's skin. So I guess their skin is much, much, much more protected and stronger than ours. Look at this. When fish swim, they swim, they swing their tails, fin back and forth and wave their other fins. They look as though they're flying through the water. See? If you watch a goldfish, you'll see that they open and close their mouths all day and all night. They look as if they're drinking water, but they're not. They're breathing. You breathe all day and all night, but you can't breathe under the water way the way the way fish do. Fish breathe 
their, with their gills. You breathe with your lungs. You breathe in, air goes to lungs inside your body. Your body takes the oxygen that you need from the air. Then you breathe out the parts of the air that you don't need. Interesting, right? Do you think that rabbits or dogs and cats breathe? That's a very interesting question. Fish need oxygen too. There is oxygen in water, just as there is oxygen in air. A goldfish opens its mouth and lets some water in. When the fish closes its mouth, the water flows over the gills inside their body. The fish's body takes the oxygen it needs from the water. After passing over the gills, the water leaves the fish's body through there through the gills opens. For a goldfish, opening and closing its mouth is just like breathing in and out. And if you've seen so far, there are different species of fish, of goldfish. What I mean by that is that there are different colors, different styles, different ways of them. Look at this one, and let's see what they eat. Fish need food, just as you do, but they eat underwater. At feeding time, watch your goldfish flip their tails. They race to the top of the bowl, snap at their food, and gulp it, and gulp it down. They need only a tiny pinch of fish flakes each day. Good fish fish flakes are mixed of ground up flies, fish, shrimp, crab, oats, corn, carrots, and vitamins. Look at all that stuff that fish flakes have. You see, this is what it has. Interesting, right? That is a very good question to answer. What do fish eat and especially goldfish? Fish in the wild do not have someone to feed them every day. Many fish eat tiny plants and animals so small that you need a microscope to see them. Bigger fish feed on worms, crabs, shrimps, and other fish. Usually big fish eat medium-sized fish. And medium-sized fish eat small fish. This is part, this is part of what we call the food chain, which is what you see here. That means that they eat each other. One depends on the other. Fish are cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature matches the temperature of the water around them. Be sure to place the uh, be sure to place your goldfish bowl in a spot where the temperature stay, will stay steady at 65 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature which the fish need to be to stay healthy. Okay. You're warm, you're warm blooded. When you're, you are healthy, your body temperature is about 98.6 degrees. That's more than them. Fahrenheit. Your body stays this temperature by itself, whether the air around you is hot or cold. Interesting. Hmm. Sometimes goldfish swish their tails and zip around the bowl. Other times they look as if they've stopped moving, they, but they haven't. Their fins are always moving, even when they rest. Fish don't sleep as you do. They rest 
by moving very, very slowly. Fish's eyes are always open. They have no eyelids, so their eyes stay open even when they rest. Fish don't need eyelids, as you do, and they don't need tears either. The, the water keeps their eyes washed. There is usually, usually not enough light underwater to bother fish's, fish's eyes. Be sure not to be not to put your goldfish in the sun because it might be too bright for them. Hmm. Good idea. We shouldn't keep them close to the sun. With a sleek body, fins, scales, slime, and gills, a fish lives a natu as naturally water as you do on land. Goldfish swim, breathe, eat, and rest in water. They slip over and under their castle, hide among water plants, and glide quietly around their under underwater world. Interesting. Open the bag. Let your goldfish swim out. Your goldfish like any pet depends on you to take care of it it's good it's a good idea to study a fish care guide that way you'll know just what to do to keep your goldfish healthy and happy the end would you like a fish as a pet it's easy to handle you don't have to take him outside for a walk and you only have to clean his fish tank if you have him in a tank. They're always happy. And like we read last week, not Norman. You might like him. Today, it would be nice if you draw a picture of a goldfish and start writing about what it is. Okay? I'm going to the next video, so I will continue with the math. And I will do the Skyletter Formation Board in that video for you. See you then. Bye.